Well, Q School is just about to get underway, but what is it like as a manager at the event? Well, to help us answer that question, we're joined by Tom Cousins of TCL Management, who has nine players in this year's tournament. Tom, uh, firstly, how are you? A negative test uh, and you're in the bubble. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. We had the, the test a few hours ago and uh, I had about a 40 minute wait, sat in the car, What's, uh, a bit of Facebook, a bit of Twitter, waiting for the results to come through. Checked in and all tucked up in a hotel now. A bit right. of relief, yeah, a relief, to, you know, a bit of safety and uh, in these in these weird times, I guess. Yeah, to be fair, the PDC had done really, really well. I mean, to get the test, the amount of people there, everyone was, it, it was really, really good to be fair. So, you know, fair play to them for keeping it. It's not easy. I wouldn't want that job. So take my hats off to them, to be fair. Fantastic. So what are your first memories of, of darts, Tom? Uh, well, I've watched it. You know, I watched it growing up, to be fair. It wasn't overly interesting. It was just something that, that I watched. And then uh, I owned a pub in about 2009, maybe, 2008, nine. Uh, Adrian Gray used to come in and practice. we become quite friendly. Since then, we've become like best mates and so forth. And I just started going on tour with him, just to support as a friend. Never really had too much involvement in management or was really looking into, it, into doing it, to be fair. Um, supported him for three or four years. Then obviously he come off the tour, uh, had a couple of years off, and then I sort of like missed it for a year. And then I got approached by a player who I used to manage, and then took that on and went from there. And then luckily Adrian come back a few years ago, and it's just gone from strength to strength, really. So is that how t uh, TCL management uh, began? Yeah, I mean TCL management began. The first manager, the first player I ever managed was was Kevin Painter. Um, the first year uh, and then obviously I took uh, and then Adrian decided he wanted to come back so we set up TC I set up TCL properly and and, and, and went from strength to strength really uh, so Q school again you've been to a lot of these now um, <laughs> yeah. what are your first Q school memories uh, a lot different to what it is nowadays obviously the standard is it, it, is ridiculous. I mean, not saying the players weren't good then, but the standard increases every year dramatically. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable now. Uh, it's more like a pro tour of the Q school compared to what it used to be. Um, you know, there was probably 200 players when I first started going. There's now, just in the UK, there's what, six, 600 people spread across the time. So, so yeah, the first I went to was fun enough with Adrian, uh, supported him. And then, you know, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a lottery, but I suppose, it, you know, it obviously works because they've continued with it. So, what do you make of the format this time round? Yeah, I, I, I like it. I, I think they've done really well. Um, I like the fact that the one to eight is trimmed down, and, the, and effectively, the, the next one to eight should be the best one to eight that are not got a, got a tour card. So, if you just come off the tour or you finish in the top sixteen of the development or challenge, you technically should be the stronger player. So you're getting rewards for finishing that top sixteen of the challenge tour compared with previous years where you just all went into an open hat sort of thing. So, yeah, because you've got two in 1A, three in 1B. And you've at 1B got, uh, and then four, four yeah. touch with maybe nine in, uh, yes. in the last one to eight, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. what's it like as a manager? Because I know, you, you you know, you have your notepad and you, you it, when it gets very tense, about writing down points and trying yeah, to Yeah, I must admit, the last couple of days are quite exciting because, you know, a couple of years ago when Adrian and Conan got their cards and unfortunately Richie missed out by count back and... The last day, there was a, a chap called Andrew Feeney, a good friend of mine. He's, um, he looks after Dan Day and, uh, and uh, me and Joplin now. He was running around with his notepad and getting everyone's points. And it was it was just, it, you know, that, that's the fun of it if you don't have any players in it, if that makes sense. But it's fun watching it, but obviously quite stressful when people are going up and down like a relegation sort of, you know, and promotion sort of system. So it's a bit of a roller coaster of emotions then. It is, yeah, because you want you want all your players to do well, and it, it's hard, to, you know, it's hard to see them when you know things go against them or, you know, not quite happen for them for whatever reason. Um, so highlights then, I guess you, you just uh, alluded there to, to when Conan and Adrian, I think they won cards on the same day, I think a couple of years ago. They both won on point yeah. systems, yeah. Adrian, uh, I think finished about tenth, and I think Conan got the second to last place. I think Conan was eleventh out of thirteen. I think Barry Bates got the last place that that day. Yeah, yeah, Richie missed out on count back. I lost to Nathan Rafferty and had about 109 average against him. Fair play to the kid. Um, but yeah, they got their cars that day. But it worked out for Richie effectively because he then went on the challenge tour and 
and obviously, you know, and look at look where that's taken him. So, you know, there's opportunities so much around for everyone. If you don't get through Q school, the PDC give you plenty of opportunities to show that you're still good enough. So, and is that is that difficult as a manager because you've got the on that day you've got two players that have, you know the fantastic highs and then you know Richie will obviously be disappointed when he's just missing out and it's difficult, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult to a certain extent it is. Yeah, obviously you can only be happy for the people who have made it, but obviously you feel for the ones who haven't quite, especially when Richie got so close. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's easy if you don't get any points and you're a mile away, but it's sort of like, you know, he was he was he was that close, if that makes sense. So but you know, things happen for a reason. So I think it's worked out, it's worked out well for him in, in that sort of sense. So Fantastic. Okay, and just lastly, uh, your your hopes this time around. I guess that sort of seems like an obvious question to ask, but uh... yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. You know, perfect scenario. We're in the lottery. We'd all nine get through, but you've got to be realistic. You know, there's what there's 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 you know five. It's going to be one to eight players, and you've got to realistically say probably over a hundred of them have got the ability to get a tour card. So, you know, I think it's going to be. It, it can be a bit of a lottery. You've got to hope. For you all you've got to do is you know I believe that one in four days the draw will go right for you. You should, whether you take advantage of, of what happens. If you can take advantage of what happens and play well that day and not beat yourself up if you have a bad first day, then, you know, you'll be in good stead and hopefully the best will come through and well, hopefully that will be some of the TCL lads. Fantastic. Well, Tom, thanks we'll so much for your time and, uh, and we'll hopefully catch up uh, later on in the events or at the conclusion. My pleasure. Thank you. Cheers, Matt.